Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're gonna talk about the secret to the bolted joint. All right, so we went over quite a few topics with our bolted joint simulator here. And I wanna to talk to you about what's really happening with the joint so you can understand a good design from a bad design and make some improvements with how we build and assemble our bolted joints. All right, so we had an example earlier in a previous video where we tightened up to four newtons of preload. And I applied four newtons of service load onto the joint. And we can see that the load in the bolt stays stable. So we can take this load on and off and we see no change in the load of the bolt. But what's actually happening is that there is a little bit of change. And if we understand how the physics of this joint works, it can lead us to designing a better joint. So let's consider the tension in the bolt is four newtons. The compression in this part is also four newtons. We have equal and opposite forces right now. When I put the service load on the part, the compression force in the part actually drops down to zero. And you can see there's nothing keeping this load from sliding back and forth. So the, the tension in the bolt remains stable, but the compression force in the part drops from four down to zero. So the reason that this joint design is stable is because this part is very rigid and the bolt is very elastic. It has low stiffness, it can stretch. The secret to the bolted joint is designing it in such a way that has a favorable relationship to having a high stiffness part and a low stiffness bolt. Let me prove this to you by assembling a joint with a softer compression member and a lower compression stiffness. So, this is my rigid joint member and you can see it is, it hardly moves at all. In fact, we can't even see it move when I take this load on and off of here. But if I have a soft member that has a soft piece of foam in it, we can set the weight on here and see we have motion from the four newtons of service load affecting the size of this part. So let's do the exact same experiment where we build up our joint, but use the soft joint instead. All right, we'll take it up to four newtons and watch what happens when I apply the service load on this joint. So if I take this on and off of here, you can see the load in the bolt going up and down and up and down. So when we talk about the service load not directly affecting the load in the bolt, that is only in the situation where we have a favorable design. So what does this mean? This alternating load condition is not what we want to see. This is much more likely to come loose in the field. The nut is going to find a way to work its way off or it's going to fatigue and fracture this fastener. So what we want to do is eliminate the possibility of this happening. So anything we do from a countermeasure standpoint of increasing the stiffness of the compression member and decreasing the stiffness of the bolts, the tension member, is gonna improve the dynamic loading situation of this joint and help our performance in the long run. Watch the next part. So I was holding this part from up here. What happens if I support my bolt from down here and this compression member is no longer in the path that's gonna be affected by the load. Now I've got a situation where the load is stable in the bolt, all right? So I can do this up and down and up and down thousands of times and it's not going to directly affect the load in the bolt. So when we're problem solving in a bolted joint, we need to consider the stiffness of the bolt, the stiffness of the part, and how the service load affects the dimensions of our part through its stiffness. So there we have it. That's the secret to the bolted joint. We have to have the right stiffness ratio between the bolt and the stiffness of the part. We want long, stretchy bolts, and we want rigid parts that resist compression and elongation from the action of the service load. So what does that mean? That means we, we design the bolted joint in the right conditions. We're gonna have a long-lived joint that's gonna last through the service life of the product and never come loose. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.